Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and today I'm talking about foldable devices, why they're the future, and why you should seriously consider getting one. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're talking about foldable devices, and I have been testing the Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 now for three whole weeks. And as always, I bought this second-hand device. I got a massive discount from the retail device, a price I saved myself around 500 euros, which is bonkers. Um, and there is nothing wrong with this. There is li literally not a single scratch or scuff. So I cannot encourage you enough to consider refurbished or recycled uh, devices that are fully functioning from reputable websites, which I will put in the link below. Now, foldable devices, I feel, are the way of the future, and I'll tell you for why. Probably number one, I've got a list of four reasons, okay? Four big reasons, and maybe a bonus one as well at the end. The screen. Okay, so we've got a cover screen. Now, the Samsung, in fairness, has a very narrow cover screen. There are other companies, such as Xiaomi and Vivo, which are very popular companies, particularly in the Asian markets, that are coming out with incredible devices that look almost exactly like a regular slab phone, but they split in half. So you end up not just with a very usable front or cover screen, but actually an amazing inner screen as well, which is wider than the Samsung devices and therefore has more of a correct aspect ratio because with this, you've always got a square, which means you're always gonna have bars. Now you can zoom into videos, but then that crops a lot of the edges. Some reviewers think that that's quite a good thing. I find it actually quite annoying when it, review, when it crops in so much that you, unless you're watching somebody talking to camera like now, you cut out all the edges on everything. So I don't find that the aspect ratio of this device is the best, but this is the one that I've got access to at the moment because the other ones, as I say, are in Chinese or Asian markets and very hard to get hold of. But if you put a comment below and you want to review a video on one, I will try and get hold of one. But these foldable devices are the way of the future, and the reason is when you go from this incredible screen, which of course, front screens, panels are amazing now, mostly coming from Samsung as well, to going towards a double-sided folding screen, which is QHD, so we've got really high quality imagery for video, photos, etc. Anytime you take a photo, it looks amazing. You take it like that, you open it like that and everyone's like, whoa, why is that phone so cool? Uh, and how do I get one of those? Every time I do that, people are like, whoa, what phone is that? Some people don't even know that they exist. But these devices are the way of the future. So in terms of the screen and everything you use it for, how you interact with it, what you're viewing on it, how it looks, uh, maybe doing some work on it, it is absolutely priceless. It's only going to be the way of the future. So the screens really are leaps and bounds ahead of where they were. They could be a point of vulnerability, of course, but they are way better than they were in the first iterations of, let's say, the Samsung Fold. The 1 and 2 had huge problems. This 4, I've heard very few problems with the crease. Now, however, durability is a thing to be tested. These have only been out for around three months. So obviously six months, 12 months, two years, this might start to be a problem. But Samsung offer a long-term guarantee, so reliability is there, which is really cool. So screen is definitely gonna be a winner every single time. Then we've got things like, you've got basically an instant iPad. So this device will go from sitting quite narrow in my hand to an instant iPad or mi iPad mini, should I say, where you can consume content, play games, the gaming on this. I'm not a huge gamer, but because the games here are so immersive, I'm gaming way more than I should be and way more than I normally do, just because gaming on this thing looks absolutely awesome. And I will post some videos on here so you can see what it looks like uh, with the gaming, but it is really, really cool. So if you're into photography, obviously consuming content on YouTube, things like this. It really is absolutely brilliant and you know it just can't be beaten. You really are gonna love it as much as you would using a tablet or an iPad or something like that, except you can put this in your pocket, fold it away, and it's gone. So in terms of that, it is absolutely brilliant for that purpose. And obviously everything that you use an iPad for is gonna be applicable here or a tablet is gonna be applicable. Now, practicality, if you have a mobile phone, a tablet, and a laptop, 
This device, in particular Samsung, this device can actually suffice as all three in one device. Why? Well, of course, you've got a phone, right? This looks like and can be used just like a regular phone. You've got a dialer, you've got your texts, you've got your messaging services. Then you open it up and you've got a tablet. And you've got all the functionality of Android working brilliantly, in particular Android L, which is the software designed specifically for this. Um, and then if you connect in a cable to the USB Type-C port here, you've got something on Samsung's only called Samsung DeX. Massively underused product, but it is brilliant. It's a secondary software system living underneath the Android system which is absolutely brilliant. So basically, if you have a monitor, plug it into this, you can run all the operations, just like a bit like Windows, to be honest, through the phone. You can Bluetooth connect a keyboard and a mouse if you want to, and you can have all of it running through the phone connected to the monitor. And that is basically around 75 to 80% of your desktop laptop capabilities will be able to function through this device all on its own. So it can charge whilst being plugged into your monitor and you can use it as your sole device whenever you want, which is absolutely fantastic because you're not only gonna have access to all the Android apps that you've got on the phone, you're also gonna have them natively adjust to the DeX system, which again, if you're interested to learn more about DeX, put a comment below, or if you wanna um, do an instructional video, I'm more than happy to do that because it is a very powerful system and this device will allow you to do that. Now, not all foldable devices will allow you to do that, but of course, all phones now have compatible software with Microsoft making Windows and Word, sorry, Word, PowerPoint, um, et cetera, Excel, and of course, you've got the whole suite from Google as well, which is exactly the same and all free, which works brilliantly on this device. And they will work, obviously, when using the tablet, in its tablet form or if you connect it using the DEX system as well. So for practicality, absolutely nails it. Battery life. Now, battery life is very important because most people suffer from battery life issues, which that, of course, if they're using their phone as intensely as I have been using this phone, then you generally can't make it to the end of the day. This has two battery cells because, of course, it's separated into two sides. This battery has always lasted me all day. I will get to probably about 11 p.m. with around 20%, 15% battery life, but I would have been using it intensely. I would have been on YouTube, I might have been gaming, I might have been creating some video content, uh, posting on social media as well. So this thing really is incredibly powerful and the battery has been great. Now it does have wireless charging, I've got obviously uh, a case on the back of it there because I really like this case. It's very practical for using as a stand, etc. This is a proper OEM case from Samsung. The battery life will get you through all day and it is absolutely brilliant. Uh, if you have a wireless dock at work or at home, you can plonk it on there for a few minutes and it'll charge you back up. It's not the fastest wireless charging, it really isn't. But wire charging can get up to 47 watts, but it's not that fast either. It rarely gets that fast, but it will charge up in about an hour from flat. So that's, that's pretty good. But you'll rarely need to leave it on that long, and the battery has been fantastic. And I've got all the settings cranked up to the max because I want to test it out to the max. So in terms of practicality, this really is very, very good. Where we might find that there is a bit of an issue is obviously whether or not you're going to get an issue with the screen. Historically, the screens have been the weakest point, of course, at the hinge point. Now, some people talk about the crease being on this device. You forget all about it. You're not even going to notice it. When I look at it at this angle, maybe you can see that too. You can see the crease. You can feel the crease, but it's not going to make a huge difference. When you've got something white in the background or you've got a beautiful image like that, you don't even see it and you're not going to care about it. So it's really not relevant to crease. But what is relevant is whether or not there's going to be any degeneration over time because that's been the weakest part of these devices in that this crease has degraded and damaged over time. Now, I haven't heard anything about the Samsung Fold 4 because it's relatively new still, uh, but Samsung do have good manufacturer warranties for anything that happens within 12 months. Of course, you can buy Samsung Care as well, um, which makes it last even longer, and they are very good at replacing screens if there's any damage. 
It does come with a built-in screen protector that's actually very well fitted. I wouldn't want to touch it. I don't know why people want to take them off. I like the screen protectors being there. And uh, the durability is something that is obviously always going to be an issue. But for me, this design is like a work of art. I really love this model of the Fold 4, particularly in this gold-silver color. Now, there were some arguments about what color people thought this was. Some people think it's silver, some people think it's gold. From your eye, what color is this to you? For me, it's gold. What color is it to you? Put a comment below. Uh, so in terms of, of practicality, really, really very practical, very useful. And finally, one of my favorites, and the bonus, of course, of having one of these devices, is street cred. Your street credibility will go up significantly when you snap a picture of somebody using the rear camera, like a regular phone, you take a picture, you say, hey guys, take a picture, and then you open it up in order to show people what you've taken a picture of. So then when you've taken your picture, you open it up, whoa, check that out. You can see a live image, and you can see the photo that you took as well. So it is very, very cool being able to do that. You can then view the image in full screen if you want to, and that is absolutely brilliant. And that's my setup right there, <laughs> recording you guys. So it is very, very cool, and people always get interested in what this is. Some people don't even know that Fold devices even exist, but I think in the next couple of years, particularly when people's finances get a little better and these phones get a little cheaper, remember, if you want to buy a cheaper Fold device, buy refurbished from either refurb.com or Amazon Warehouse. You can get them at amazing prices. And when I say amazing, I mean cheaper than the retail price, which is uh, which are ridiculous. This device retails for uh, 2,000 euros, and I bought it for 1,400. So let that sink in for you, and it's in perfect condition. There is literally nothing wrong with it. I can't even find a single scratch on it. So I'm very pleased with this device. And I would highly recommend it. And I think the more people that go for it, the cheaper they'll become, the better they'll become as well. So foldable phones, in my opinion, are just better. So if you're on the fence about whether or not to get one, think about what type of device you want to get and whether you might need DEX. Maybe consider importing one from the Chinese markets because they are amazing as well, but they're a little harder to get hold of. They're in the same sort of price category, but the Samsung Fold, this bad boy is absolutely brilliant and if you're a moderate to heavy phone user you will not regret it you will not regret it even the cameras a lot of reviewers have said the cameras are a bit dodgy i've made a lot of video content on this and i have not been disappointed with any of it so if you're on the fence go for it if you've got questions put them in the comments below if you want to know about certain features of this device put them in the comments otherwise thank you so much for watching have a great day peace out see you in the next one